So far we have been using the terminal in order to interact with our chatbot. But this is not always useful because we want to give the user a better user experience. And using the terminal is not always helpful in terms of the um, user experience. And you always, of course, you always need to take user experience into account and you need to consistently improve user experience. So in order to improve uh, improve user experience, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to kind of let the user interact with the chatbot in a web page. Instead of, instead of using the terminal, I'm going to be uh, deploying our website, our, uh, our chatbot on a, web, uh, on a web application. So how can we do that? Well, I'm going to be doing that using Flask, which is a web framework based on Python. So I'm going to first here import from, from Flask. I'm going to import Flask. And of course, you need to have already downloaded. Uh, you have already downloaded Flask. Flask. And by the way, if you uh, want to learn Flask and uh, create a complete web application using Flask, which is an awesome web framework, I highly highly recommend checking out my uh, course uh, on Flask, where I teach you how to how you can create a complete uh, web application using Flask. So now that we have imported Flask. We need here to create a an object, flask, and then here I'm gonna say double uh, double underscores and then name, and then double underscores, and then I'm gonna store this in a variable called app. And don't worry about that. This is just housekeeping stuff. We need to create an object from flask in order to uh, run our application on a on um, in the browser. So here we need to say at the end of the script we need to say if if and then if the name and then double uh, double uh, underscores is equal to main under double underscores and then main and then double underscores then what we need to do is that we need to use that app that run in order to, in order to run our application application and I'm gonna also here use the debug uh, uh, parameter in order to uh, display any errors. If we have any errors, we need to display them in order to know what's going on. And of course, you need to set this to false if you go live and uh, and publish your your uh, this this application in your website. You need to disable this because you don't want to let customers see uh, problems and um, error messages. And now that we have Flask uh, object and we have here. Um, checked that the name is equal to main and here we have uh, kind of executed our uh, our application we need to create what's called a root because in order to deploy our application on a web page we need to use a root what's a root a root is just is just a URL for example we have we for example have uh, Google www.google dot com and then forward slash and then search this is just a URL and we need to create a URL like this in order to run our application on that uh, on that uh, URL URL so to, so to speak so I'm gonna here say at app dot root and then this is gonna take the name of or the URL itself so the URL I'm I'm just gonna deploy our uh, chatbot on our main page so we're just gonna say here forward slash and then we need here um, to create a function for each for each root there must be a function in order to execute that function once the user goes to this URL so for example if this URL is um, one two three dot just a number dot uh, nine nine um, nine eight nine and then forward slash once the user goes to this local uh, host or URL we need to execute this function and do something so here I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna name it main and this function is going to do nothing but it's gonna return a web page so I'm gonna say here return and then we need to return a web page and in order to return a web page we need to import here the render template. We need to import the render template function and then we need to use it here render template and then this is gonna return a, um, a uh, web page 
So I'm going to return a web page called index.html. But we don't have this index.html yet. So we need to create it here. I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm going to name it templates. And by the way, it must be named templates. This must be named templates. And then inside this folder, I'm going to create a, a uh, file called index.html. And this index.html will be, will be returned, as you can see here. It will be returned once the user goes to this URL. So this index.html must have a, an HTML code. So to create the basic um, skeleton of that HTML, I'm just going to say here, I'm going to type here exclamation mark and then hit enter. And in Visual Studio Code, this is going to create the basic uh, outlook of our uh, website and then uh, of our uh, HTML page. And then here, here just for the sake of uh, for the sake of testing, I'm just going to say here h1, and then I'm going to say this is the home page. And then finally, I'm just going to here comment out these lines because we don't want to run our uh, chatbot for now, and we also need to comment this out because we don't want to tr uh, train our chatbot for now. We just want to return to this page. And then once you have done that and saved everything, just click on, just run your application. So I'm going to just start, uh, start debugging my file. And I'm going to start debugging my Python file, which is the index.py. And this is going to run our script on the on our uh, on my local server. So I'm going to be showing you that shortly. And now, as you can see, it has been deployed, our application has been deployed on our uh, local uh, server, on my local server here, and uh, on specifically on this port, 5000. So I need to copy this uh, URL, and then I need to head on over to my browser. And obviously, I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to open Google Chrome and paste that link. So as you can see, after I, paste, I, after I have pasted that link, it's going to return this home page. And now our application works in the browser.